The Ryan X-13 Vertijet company designation model 69 was an experimental vertical takeoff and landing VTOL jet aircraft flown in the United States in the 1950s. The main objective of the project was to demonstrate the ability of a pure jet to vertically take off, hover, transition to horizontal forward flight, and vertically land. Development Just after World War II, Ryan engineers wondered whether the Ryan, U.S. Navy FR-1 Fireball, which had a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1 at low fuel quantities, would take off vertically. The United States Navy's Bureau of Aeronautics in 1947 awarded Ryan a contract, originally under the designation F-3R, to investigate the development of a vertically launched jet fighter. This was part of a program to evaluate the feasibility of submarine-based aircraft. Ryan conducted remote-controlled VTOL tethered rig tests from 1947 to 1950 and a flying rig in 1951. Ryan was awarded an Air Force contract in 1953 to develop an actual flying jet-powered VTOL aircraft, which was given the designation X-13. Two prototypes were built. The Ryan X-13 Vertijet was 23 feet 5 in meters long. It was just large enough to accommodate the single-place cockpit with a tilting seat and the 10,000 lbf N thrust Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet. The high-mounted delta wing of the aircraft had a wingspan of only 21 feet meters and was capped with flat endplates. The nose of the aircraft had a hook on the underside and a short pole for gauging distance from the trailer. The hook was used to hang the vertijet from the vertical trailer bed landing platform. After the aircraft was secured vertically, the trailer was lowered to horizontal and then used to transport the aircraft on the ground. Pitch and yaw control in hover were provided by vectored engine thrust. Roll control was provided by puffer jets also known as jet reaction control mounted outboard of the wingtip endplates. The first prototype number 54-1619 was fitted with temporary landing gear and made its first horizontal flight on December 10, 1955. Later, it made full horizontal to vertical attitude conversions and back again at altitude. The first prototype then had the landing gear replaced with a tail-mounted framework that held it in a vertical attitude on the ground. Using this rig, hooking practice was conducted. The second prototype, number 54 1620, on April 11, 1957, made a vertical takeoff from the vertically raised trailer, transitioned to horizontal flight, and back again. It then returned to the vertical trailer and landed by hooking the landing wire. Flight tests were performed by two test pilots Ryan's chief test pilot Peter F. Pete Gerard, and Ryan test pilot W. L. Lou. Everett. On July 28–29, 1957, the X-13 was demonstrated in Washington, D.C. It crossed the Potomac River and landed at the Pentagon. The Air Force chose not to continue development of the Ryan X-13 Vertijet because of the lack of an operational requirement. <laughs> operational history. The X-13 was designed to investigate vertical takeoff, horizontal flight transition, and return to vertical flight for landing. The first prototype of the X-13 was equipped with temporary tricycle landing gear. The X-13 was flown conventionally on December 10, 1955 to test its aerodynamic characteristics. The Vertijet was then fitted with a temporary, tail-sitting, rig. On May 28, 1956, it was flown from the ground in a vertical position to test its hovering qualities. The X-13 Vertijet completed its first full-cycle flight at Edwards Air Force Base, California, on April 11, 1957, when it took off vertically from its mobile trailer, angled over into a horizontal attitude, and flew for several minutes. 
The X-13 then transitioned to vertical flight and slowly descended back onto its trailer and landed. Topic survivors Only two X-13 aircraft were built and both are on public display. Serial number 54-1619 is on display at the Gillespie Field Annex of the San Diego Air and Space Museum. Serial number 54-1620 which was the VertiJet which made the full cycle flight on April 11, 1957 was transferred to the National Museum of the United States Air Force, Dayton, Ohio, in May 1959. It is on display in the museum's research and development hangar. Topic: <laughs> Specifications X13 General characteristics Crew, one pilot Length, 23 feet 5 in 7.14 meters Wingspan, 21 feet 0 in 6.40 meters Height, 15 feet 2 in 4.62 meters Wing area, 191 feet squared 17.8 square meters Empty weight, 5,334 pounds 2,424 Loaded weight, 6,730 pounds 3,059 kilograms Max, takeoff weight, 7,200 pounds 3,272 kilograms Powerplant, 1 times Rolls Royce Avon Ra.28 turbojet, 10,000 lbf 44.6 kilonewtons performance Maximum speed, 350 miles per hour, 560 kilometers per hour. Range, 192 miles, 307 kilometers. Service ceiling, 20,000 feet, 6,100 meters. Rate of climb, foot per minute, meter per minute. Wing loading, 35.2 pounds per foot squared, 172 kilograms per square meter. Thrust, weight, 1. 48 Topic See also Aircraft of comparable role configuration and era Rolls-Royce thrust measuring rig Short SC 1 Snek ma coleotere Related lists List of experimental aircraft